Oh, 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 no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Please, before you go, can you go and, and, and click like, thumb, thumb, thumbs up? Yeah, I was told that if you don't do that, nobody will see this video. It's a new thing. Please, can you do that for me? Click, before, we, before anything, just click on, yeah, thumbs up for the video. So that people will, YouTube, they do these things, I don't understand. If you don't do that, nobody, they won't show this to people. Please, can you help me out? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. Ha! Thank you, my man. Introducing Dr. Jack. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Daniel. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. Yes, New York City is so great, but it's in Oshobo, Oshun State, Nigeria, that we are starting today. Take a look. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister has agreed to resign. That announcement coming after demonstrators broke into the official home of Sri Lanka's president, calling for him to resign over the country's worsening economic crisis. Ah, uh, Sa Sasha, Sasha, uh, what is wrong with you today? We are just starting and, and you're already messing up. That was a video from Sri Lanka. The people of that country woke up one day and revolted against their government. Hundreds of thousands of them hit the streets. Yeah, they went to the president's home and forced the man to run away. He ran out of the country and resigned. So, Sasha, Sasha, look. Or, or Sasha, are you trying to tell us something? Whatever it is, squash it. Yes. Such a thing cannot happen to people like us. Please, show us what happened in Oshobo, uh, Oshun State. Yes. <laughs> Aha! Yes! Well, that was part of, part of what happened. <laughs> that was the video campaigning for his uncle, the PDP candidate for governor of Oshun State. But that is not the whole story. Show us the other part. Yes, yes, that is the new, new star. <laughs> Portable. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> Portable is the one who said that in five years he will be bigger than Davido and Whiskey and all of them. Yes, that was your answer for those who are wondering what happened to the legacy of Obafemi Awolowo in the Southwest. <laughs> Portable. Yes. And, and for those who do not know who Awolowo is, which I believe is 70% of Nigerians may not know, here is the man. Under the constitution, certain matters like defense, foreign affairs, ports and railways, and are exclusive federal subjects. The same region that gave us Awolowo has given us this man. What do we eat? Katlama, Bando, corn. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha, that is not a good video to capture the great politician of our time. I mean, did I say great? The greatest politician of our time. Who is marching into Asso Rock as president in waiting when nobody knows his real name, his real age, his real school, his real source of words, his real teeth. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Show the man as the statesman. That he is. Take a look. I want be a one I want labor. Labor and also cool. Alone. Yes. On our show today, we will tell you how Bola Tinubu's APC lost the governorship election in Oshun State and what that means for 2023 presidential election. Now, why APC was campaigning in Oshun State, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo scheduled a surgery <laughs> in Lagos. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. A Nigerian politician having surgery in Nigeria is like snow falling in Lagos. Sasha! Tweet that out. We will tell you what ungrateful Nigerians we are saying about it. Now, there is a presidential election taking place in Kenya on August 9th. We think you all should pay attention. One of the candidates gave out his daughter in marriage to a Nigerian. And the other candidate is as old and sick 
as one of Nigeria's presidential candidates. Hey, another candidate in Kenya wants to legalize Igbo weed. <laughs> you have not had anything. It's, it's amazing. So similar to what's going on in Nigeria. So we'll tell you more about that. Also, you've not had the last about APC's presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu's choice for running mate, Kashim Shetima. Yeah, the Muslim Muslim ticket is still dividing APC and Nigerians. We will tell you what may happen next. In the meantime, listen to Shetima, the former governor, speaking to Kunle Amosun in 2014 in a leaked audio. Take a look. Yet we accommodated them. Is it going to Dubai to bury to bring tech drugs that we don't, we cannot do it? Now the plan is drugs now. No Igbo man will again sell drugs in this house. We are going to bring it from Atkano. Drugs are brought by air. We'll be right back. Welcome to Damage Control, where we illustrate the real cost of corruption so that we all can understand it better and buy into the need to go beyond being outraged to become part of the agents for change. Damage Control is brought to you by Makato Foundation and CITAD. I am Dr. Damages. Corruption is not just about giving or taking money. Corruption is about not doing the right thing. And why are we corrupt? Because of lack of understanding. Because we do not understand that we don't need too much. Ooh, why APC is big weights? We are campaigning for Governor Oyetola of Oshun State. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo went under the knife in Lagos. Yes, that's what we call it. He used the opportunity to take care of a broken uh, leg. Doctors dealt with a recurrent pain in his leg caused by a fracture. He thinks he got injured while playing squash. I know. If you don't know what squash means, what a gate is. It's a game. If you don't know, don't feel bad. It is not your fault. <laughs> it's because you did not attend a posh primary or secondary school. <laughs> anyway, doctors at the Duchess hey, International Hospital in Lagos took care of the vice president. They were five doctors in all. All of them were specialists, consultants. But more importantly, they were Nigerian doctors practicing in Nigeria. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, well, um, I have just been told that one of them is not a Nigerian. His name is Dr. Om Lahoti. <laughs> he's an Indian orthopedic surgeon. He came down from London where he's the president of the British Limb Reconstruction Society. But, but still, it is cheaper to fly down the guy than to have the vice president go to London for the surgery. You know what I mean? With the plane parked somewhere and all the people that will follow him. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Another of the doctors, Dr. Wallace Ogufere. Yeah. Though, though he schooled at the University of Benin, he has his practice in London. So, so okay, he was probably flown down too to, to perform the surgery. No. So what? So what? Uh -huh. oh, hold on. What is this? Uh -huh. Another one, Dr. Kane Adegoke. Also practices in London. Okay, and so what? And so what? The point is that do you know how much money Nigeria saved because the surgery was done in Nigeria and not in a fanciful hospital in London or Paris? You know what I mean? See, see your life, you care quite about it. See your life, eh? You could have flown the doctors, the London doctors, to Nigeria to take care of your daughter's kidney transplant in Lagos. If you had done so, you would have been enjoying your life in one of your 22 houses in Nigeria and not in some... Detention hall in London. I'm sorry. You see your life? You don't have advisors. <laughs> Do like the VP. I saw, I saw the comments some of you were making about the VP. You know, instead of thanking the VP for showing a good example, you were saying that he was just a mere broken bone. You know, something your village native doctor <laughs> could fix with his eyes closed. Some of you think he chose to have the surgery the same time. Uh, to avoid uh, having to campaign, seeing the campaigning with Bolatin in Ocean. You know, you people are never satisfied, I swear. One day, one day, APC will explain to our grandchildren why they gave us Bolatin as their preferred presidential candidate. 
and not this man. One day, now, as the, P, <laughs> as the VP said so eloquently, behavior like this, like giving us Tinubu, is what kept Nigeria where, where, where we were, where, 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 keep, where we were, where, you know what? Get, get him to say. Where we are, that's why we are here today. <laughs> we'll be right back. Are you a nurse or social worker looking for greater opportunities? A Houston-based healthcare company, Avenger Home Care Services, has urgent uh, job openings. Uh, the company is looking for nurses. The company is looking for a director of nursing, several skilled nursing positions, supervising nurses, licensed vocational nurses, and social workers. They have several openings at their home health care, hospice care, and pediatric care divisions. The company has attractive salaries, benefits, and relocation bonuses. They will also help qualified nurses abroad secure a visa to relocate to Houston, USA. So if you're interested, ah, please reach out to Avenger Home Care Services at 713-432-7331. Their email is info at avengerhealthcare.org. Do reach out to them. This may be a new opening for you, new life. This is a good question. Why did APC lose in Ocean State? Why did a sitting governor in the Southwest lose? Was it a referendum on the performance of Buhari's government? Was it because of what Bola Tinubu said about the Labour Party during the campaign? <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> Or, or was it because the PDP's candidate is the dancing senator? A delicate. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Was it because Adeleke is Davido's uncle? And Davido came out to campaign for him. Take a look. <laughs> yes. You, you, can, you can have whatever debate you want to have. For me, this is the point when APC lost it. <laughs> yes, he said it. When they gave him money, he he he, he was saying bad things about Bolatinubu. Now they gave him money, he's saying good things about Bolatinubu. Portable, the great politician. <laughs> yes, that must be the reason. Imagine if Portable had defeated Davido. It would have been anarchy <laughs> all the way. But, but the main part was when Portable used his underwear to rub Chief Obafemi Awolowo's face. That was the moment that I knew that APC messed up. <laughs> they messed up. Trending now is that Oshun is not Lagos. I know. <laughs> With Adeleke as governor, does it mean that Oshun State will now go to Abubakar Tiku during the presidential election? Do you think? I tell you, I tell you, the next seven months will be bombastico, bombastic. In the meantime, APC members are licking their wounds and singing the dash. Mene, 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 mene. Man, <laughs> I will be right back. And the Indian Grossi is a glory. I'm glory. I want to give us all the one and man. You are to our Lord. Nene, 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 nene. Oh, yes. On August 9th, Kenyans will elect a new president. Yes, I know. Dr. Damages is planning to be in Nairobi for that election. Yes. You might be there. It is quite fascinating what is happening in Kenya. 
it will have been on CNN <laughs> if it were happening in Nigeria. But Kenya, oh, nah, nobody cares. One is that the president is supporting the opposition candidate instead of his vice president, who is running for the presidency under his own party. Just, just imagine Buhari supporting Atiku instead of supporting his vice president. Oh, well, ah, you can say that. Technically, you know, that was what happened in Nigeria. So, Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting Raila Odinga. And not his VP, William Ruto. Guess the reason Uhuru gave for not supporting Ruto. Because Ruto is corrupt. <laughs> it's like a little chicken or passenger calling a Boba Katiku corrupt. Oh, oh, yes, he did. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> it is a tight race. Anyone who wins will be the first time Kenya, we have a president that is not in this picture. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! There is also another presidential candidate who is like their own Omoyele Shore. Here is the man. I would like to pay off the Chinese debt. And the only shortest way to pay is by legalizing and growing marijuana. Ha <laughs> ha! George Wajekoya <laughs> was once a street child in Kenya. He later became a grave digger in the UK. He wants to be president of Kenya with this main goal, to turn Kenya into a major exporter of the following. One is marijuana. Hey, yeah, yeah. Two is snake venom. And the three is hyenas testicles. I know. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, he wants to repay Kenya's death with the money he made from selling these, uh, these products. This is Omoyele Shore 2.0. Now, for Africans watching the election in Kenya, they want to see what happens. It could be a new trend for presidents to support opposition candidates. Since Ruto gave his daughter a marriage to a Nigerian, Nigerians in Kenya are not sure who to support. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, can, they can't decide, you know. They are thinking, should they support the sick Raila Odinga? You know, because, 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 because a, he's a kind of president that they are used to seeing in Nigeria. Or Ruto, who is their in-law. Who should they support? Where do we go? What do we do? Africa. Who did this to us? Who did this to us? Oh, good news. Terra developers, the owners of Olivia Courts, want people to experience living the good life. And we give out two free two-day hotel stay for two couples at any five-star hotel in the world. Oh, Valentine's Day. Wonderful. To be placed in the draw, register on terradevelopers.com.ng slash Dr. Damages and follow all their social media handles. Go to the link below and register. Don't miss this chance. I've already registered. Dubai. Here I come with Mamudoka. <laughs> now, you can also increase your chances of winning by referring other people too. The more people that you refer and they register with your email address, the higher your chances of being included in the final list. The winner will be picked randomly by Valentine's Day on a live show. Come on! Rush! I want to go! <laughs> the last has not been heard about Bolatinubu's choice. For running mate. Oh, yes. Look at the headline. Hey, hey. Uh, former secretary to the federal government, Babachia Lawa, the man who ended up as grass cutting contractor at uh, IDP camp, lost it over the choice of Shetima. He said it was satanic. Hey. Here are other reactions from Nigerians. Look at this one. I think it Thank is you. insulting. It is insulting to say no competent Christian to be a vice president. How competent is Tinubu to be president? Wow. Insult. Look at this one. Actors, even actors are losing their mind. Look. APC has done nothing for me personally. Have you ever seen me complain? And I'm not going to complain. So what party are you moving to? I am not contemplating any party yet. You see, you see I, don't, I don't care what politicians are saying. They are all the same. They just want to win election. That's all. That's their job. Win election. So let me check with Christian Association of Nigeria. Let me check with Christian Association of Nigeria. 
Oh, look at them. They rejected Bolatinubu's Muslim, Muslim ticket. <laughs> I was wondering, what are they going to do next? Call the police? <laughs> then they did this. It was a shock to me. Look at the headline. Yeah. They declared crucial and urgent seven-day fasting and prayers for Nigeria. Now, not even in the days of Moses, <laughs> when they had 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, do they target crucial and urgent. Nigeria is lucky that, that there are no walls around Nigeria. You know, if not, if Christians decide to take a walk around the wall, just like it happened to the walls of Jericho, it will be the end of Nigeria, the fall of Nigeria. <laughs> now, if Balatinubu, uh, <laughs> as if Balatinubu cares, as if Balatinubu cares, he doesn't care. Here is what Tinubu said when asked why Shetima. Watch. So, finally, why Kashim Shetima? Because he competent, capable, reliable, and able. <laughs> why, why was that man standing behind Tinubu telling the reporter to, to stop questioning Bola Tinubu? Did, did you see that? He, he's not yet president, and they are trying to kill the news. Imagine. What they will do when he becomes president? Kafune fune diotu. Fune fune. Ogadiaya. This is something we call Secrets of Pictures. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. The most common complaint that I get in emails is the challenges Nigerians face when they want to renew their passports or obtain travel documents from our embassies and consulates worldwide. The frustration is legendary. Well, if you live in the US or Canada, help is just a phone call away. The people of Travel Document Express are here to help. They will process passport renewal and new applications for you. They will also help you with visa applications, business and tourist visas, and expatriates work permits. Do you need travel certificates? They will help you get that to capital. They can also help you get your airline tickets to all African destinations. Here is the number to call for assistance, 713. 429-7305. Let me know. Tell them Dr. Damage is sent. Now the picture you're looking at is the picture of a physically challenged man voting in Oshun State. Look at that picture. He understands that his vote counts and he did everything to make sure he voted. What excuse do you have? Yes, you. Irrespective of the person he voted for, his vote counted. If you ask me, it should weigh more than the vote of able-bodied men and women. Yes, let that, let that sink in. Let it sink in. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. As always, headline news is brought to you by Help Me Waka. Help Me Waka, the people who run errands for you in Ghana and in Nigeria. It's little not so long. I'm gonna make them last so hold. This little not so mine. Oh, oh. I'm gonna make them last. Oh, this little not so mine. I'm gonna make Hmm. Someone, someone is first timing me. Someone, hey, my grandson, I don't care, I don't care. How are you? Hello, Grandpa. Kedu? I don't know, man. What are you eating? Oh, <laughs> I have nothing left at home. I'm eating a uh, haku, <laughs> kepam canel. That's all I have at home. Now I eat meal without meat, haku without upa. <laughs> Mbano, that's not healthy. <laughs> what can I do? Eh? Can you please help me beg your father? So help me. Things are hard. Things are hard. Prices of things up, up, no energy. Up, up, up. <laughs> In dark, Grandpa, I'll tell my dad right away. <laughs> Biko, thank you. Thank you, please. Thank you. Biko, Biko. This little nuts of mine. Dad. Hey, Udoka. <laughs> can you cage Grandpa is suffering in Nigeria. He needs your help urgently. Ah. Udoka. Udoka, how did you know he's suffering? We we're just on a FaceTime call. He looks so skinny now. His stomach has shrunk and it's flattened. His stomach? Yes. Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I, you, know, you know what? I don't care, I don't care. 
I don't care. Look, that man, I give him money, he will go and use it to buy tobacco. And, and that's it. I give him money, he will go and give it out to his friends. And I give him money, he will go and marry a second wife and talk. No, I don't care. Whatever is happening to him. I don't, I don't care. I have a solution. What? What? Go to Help Me Walk Out and they will send him any food item that you want to give Grandpa anywhere in Nigeria. Help me? Help me, Waka. Really? Really, really. Help me, Waka, the people that run errands for you. Oh, look at the first story. Tinubu's economic policy will make one naira equal to one dollar. Provide free education for Nigerians, <laughs> says his campaign manager. Can you believe that? What? Didn't Buhari and Oshibajo people say this kind of thing in 2015? These people just take Nigerian voter as a fool. Do we have the man on video? Please, please show him saying that. And save that video. Save it for us. To improve on the economy to the extent that we can drive down the high cost of the Naira to the dollar. We are looking at a system where we can bring it at equal power. One Naira to one dollar. I, I, I don't want any PIM <laughs> as in denial four years from now. Nonsense. One Naira to one dollar. <laughs> Next. Oh, in a secret memo to Buhari, SSS warned Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket will destabilize Nigeria and endanger Christian lives. Hey, hey, hey. These Gazette people, where do they get the secret memos? Huh? How do they get it? You know, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> now, but, but, but what, what do the, the SS? I mean, I mean, SSS, eh? they should just take an oath to work hard. Because Tinubu is always right. Why are they bothering us with a secret memo? Why? <laughs> ah! Next. Oh, 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 this is, this, you can't believe this. Buhari's regime approves $400 billion for trader money and other poverty alleviation schemes. <laughs> There's a reason why they call it schemes. Schemes. <laughs> $400 billion. And, and they can't find the money to give us so that university students can go back to school. Never mind. Their children are all abroad, graduating, while your children are home. Yeah, nothing. You see, you see, Buhari has opened the door for Tinubu, the incoming president, to solve that ASU problem. Buhari has shown his lamentation in the last 14 hours. As a result of that, he has let the job open. So, so let's just wait for Tinu to take care of that. You know, their children are abroad, graduating. Yours are home. What are you doing? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's the question. Maybe, maybe, maybe when Tinu takes care of that, they will now find his certi certificate, primary school, <laughs> secondary school certificate. I don't know. I don't know why they are bringing him to solve water and Gigi and all the other people. And Bob, what's his name? Bob, whatever happened to Fashola? Eh? Was it not the star that was supposed Anyway, forget it. Last one, last one. <laughs> PDP will defeat APC in Lagos. I have 20 million social media followers, says Funke Akindele. That's the actress. <laughs> you, know, you know, if you have never begged your 5,000 Facebook friends to come and help you move, you will be forgiven if you think you have <laughs> that your social media followers are real people who can do real things like vote for you. <laughs> I don't blame her. She's an actress. What do you think? She only reads lines that we're giving to her. She, there's nothing in the head. Forget it. There's nothing there. <laughs> she doesn't know that those 200 million people are not real. Anyway. That's all the time we have. Please follow us on Twitter at and on Facebook at and on Instagram at you can also support us on patrons we we need help <laughs> on patrons please by uh, going to patrons.com slash doctor damages I will post the link at the end of this video um, here is my concern for today it's taken from page 419 of the book in pursuit of happiness by J.M. Barry and it says not in doing what you like but in liking what you do is the secret of happiness. Hey! Not in doing what you like, but in liking what you do is the secret 
of happiness. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So we are moving up, you know. More people are subscribing. We think we are getting to people. People are beginning to respond to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you.